Now, let's talk about women and politics and one statement made in that National Press Club event that most people could probably agree with. I know our parliament will be a better, stronger place if more women are ministers and members and senators and staffers. Yeah, that's true, especially in the Liberal Party. Yet a, a potential star candidate is being blocked from running at the upcoming federal election. You've met Catherine Deves on this program before, speaking out about protecting the rights of women and girls when it comes to the trans agenda, especially in sport. She's been a Liberal Party member. She rejoined last year and has put her hand up to run in her local electorate of Warringah, Tony Abbott's old seat, now held by Green Left Independent Zali Stegall. But incredibly, Deves has been knocked back because her current membership doesn't go back a full six months. Now, the state executive of the New South Wales Liberal Party could approve her for a pre-selection contest with the stroke of a pen, and surely they must. Catherine Deves joins me now. Catherine, politics is a pretty toxic environment at the moment. Why on earth would you want to get involved in it? Uh, look, because as um, Grace and Brittany pointed out, we need more women in Parliament. Uh, we need more women in government and we need more women in positions of high-level decision-making. Um, you know, I have three little girls. Uh, every decision I make, I make with them in mind. Um, and when I helped found Save Women Sports Australasia, uh, my three daughters were front and centre of my concerns and they will remain so. So, you know, I want them to grow up in a fair and equitable world. I want them to be safe and successful and to have accomplished women in positions of power that they can aspire to. Well, at the moment, there's no Liberal candidate for the seat of Warringah. It's an important seat. Used to be a strong Liberal seat. Zali Steggall's got it, of course, from Tony Abbott. There's a mm -hmm. man... One man has nominated... What you're seeking mm -hmm. to do is nominate to run against him. You don't want to be shoehorned into the seat. You want the members in that electorate to be able to choose their candidate and you just want to run up against uh, Lincoln Parker, I think his name is, yet the state executive knocks you back. That's not good enough, surely? Well, look, my view is that there needs to be choice for Warringah. This is the birthplace for the plebiscite pre-selection process. And with Jane Bunkle uh, withdrew, this has left us with one man standing and you can't have a plebiscite with just one person. So Warringah can't even participate in the process that it championed. Um, so my understanding is that putting myself forward has been received positively within the party because it does give Warringah a choice. Um, and we need to uphold that process if we're going to be um, able to attract strong candidates in the future. Now, you live in the electorate. You've got a background in business. As you mentioned, you've got three daughters. You're, you're a lawyer now as well. Mm. Uh, what, what do you bring forward to, as a potential MP in the federal parliament? Well, look, um, you know, I am not just someone that the Liberal Party will sort of choose to choose amongst the ranks to throw at the voters. I am new to this, um, but everyone has been very encouraging. And I think that is because the people who know me know they recognise in me an ability to champion change in a fearless and nuanced way. You know, through my women's advocacy, um, I have stood up, demonstrated that I am willing to stand up for what I believe in. And, you know, firstly, I would like to uh, give Warringah the choice at a vote in the plebiscite it championed. And secondly, I re represent the majority demographic in Warringah. I represent the working families with children, um, and I want to give those people a voice, you know, on, on a range of different issues, uh, such as properly funded services for families, including childcare, protection of the natural environment, including our world-famous marine environment here in Manly, uh, housing affordability, infrastructure, small business, uh, mental health, particularly for men and children, uh, COVID recovery, um, and, of course, augmented protections for the safety of women and children. So there's a, a huge range of issues that concern the people of Warringah, um, well, and I would like to be that person giving them a voice. It just does my head in that they wouldn't uh, say that your membership is fine and let you contest this pre-selection. They're desperate for strong, articulate women. You and I have <laughs> not met, but we've discussed issues on this show repeatedly. I've always been taken by your courage in tackling what are very difficult issues. Have you had any senior members, people already in Parliament, in the Liberal Party, reaching out to support you to try and help you get into this contest? Um, look, I've, I've spoken with a few people um, and a few people who are uh, 
championing my cause as I understand it. Um, and as I mentioned, I, I, I have heard that um, my me putting my hand up has been favourably um, received because I think that, you know, we don't want to have another just hand-picked candidate because that's going to entrench the factions. So, you know, I really hope that the party does seriously consider my application. Spot on. You're clearly no Labor or Greens plant and you should be given a run <laughs> at the pre-selection. Uh, we'll follow that up with the New South Wales uh, State uh, Executive. Thanks for joining us, Catherine. I appreciate it. Thanks so much, Chris. Good evening. Catherine Deves there, who founded, co-founded the movement called Save Women's Sport to try and protect young girls in particular from competition from biological men. It's a difficult issue. You've heard her before. She's a strong advocate on these issues. The Liberal Party is not so flush with strong female candidates in the upcoming federal election that they can afford to shut out someone like that, not from a clear run into a seat just from contesting a pre-selection so the good people of Warringah the Liberal Party members there can choose between her and the current nominated man it's choice it's politics it's democracy if you don't let things like this happen the Liberal Party you deserve everything that's coming your way